All right, for my next overlooked module, I'd like to talk about this one right here, and that is the WMD Pro Output. So this is an output module, and I realize there are a lot of people who uh, are against output modules, let me say. There's all kinds of discussions online, and people say they're worthless and all this other stuff, take up too much room in the rack, blah, blah, blah. And that's one solid opinion. I am of the mindset that they are valuable, particularly this one, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But this particular module um, is great if you want your modular to interface with the outside world. And if you've noticed from some of my other overlooked modules, I use the Animodule line amp, which is designed to bring signals in or act as a multiple when it's not being used uh, for signal amplification. I use the, Air, I uh, talked about the Erica MIDI to clock, which uh, is designed to either integrate your modular with an, with an outdoor outside mini clock or take your um, modular's clock and, and integrate it or send it out to a mini device. Uh, so again, it seems to be a theme to me that I think that the modular should play with the outside world. So William Mathewson of WMD Devices said that he developed this module for himself um, because of the fact that Eurorack signals have such a high output approximately plus 30 dB that um, it was just hard to integrate with other things without you know always needing some sort of mixer or something. So what this module is designed to do is drop it to all the levels that you actually need. Um, so it's got transparent op, amp, op amps in here so it just cuts everything right to the correct level. So what happens is you put modular signal in here. Let's go ahead and we'll just plug in uh, these. So, you, so it's stereo. You go ahead and plug in your modular signal. This top one comes out at a minus 10, which is a commercial line level, and it's a TRS jack. So this would be perfect if you wanted to plug into a boom box, um, you know, a, a, a something that you would use to amplify an iPod or anything like that. Bam, perfect, right here. Here you go. The next section is a headphone amplifier. What's cool about this one is it has both the quarter and the eighth inch headphone jack, so you could have two sets. They are both available at the same time, and it has a little attenuator right there because you don't, you know, I want to blast your ears out. Um, so that's one thing you can do there. And then down here, you have your plus four professional line level, and these are balanced quarter inch. So these will allow you to plug directly into a PA, um, a professional recorder. If you went to a recording studio, this is what you would send. This is like the high level audio. So bam, instantly you drop this modular level, which is very difficult to work with and often needs to be attenuated and you drop it to all the levels that you need instantly. So if you've got a set of headphones, I happen to have one right here, and I plug that in. Hopefully, I'm not even sure if the phone will pick this up, but hopefully you can hear that, that there's sound coming out of there. Um, and of course, it's uh, I can turn it up or down there. And then if I take this, this will go, this is set to go to my, um, my audio interface on the computer. Oops, well you can hear it's definitely live. And if I plug that in, hopefully you can hear that. It isn't very turned up, but you hear music coming through because that's going right over to the computer. I'm gonna unplug those again. Hopefully we can deal with the static. So anyway, that is uh, uh, just one way that you can use, or that's a great way to use this module and it allows you to interface the modular with a whole bunch of other, other things. Um, back to the topic about how some people think that an output module takes up too much space. It's 6 HP. You know, I've gone to a lot of synth meets, both local and um, in other states, and people will come in and they'll bring their modular to show off, like, like I do. I come in with my modular and that's it. And I set it down and you can plug into the headphones or if we want to amplify it, we can plug into audio or even if we have like a commercial level stereo or something, if we want to plug into an RCA jack on a stereo or something, we've got that. And this is ready to go. I'll see other people come in, they'll have their modular and a mixer in the other hand. And these guys will swear to me that an output module is too much space because it takes up too much room in the rack. But I'm like, but you carry an entire mixer and this is all I need. So to me, this is more than worth it. Um, again, your mileage may vary, but I think this is a very overlooked module just because of what it does. It basically allows your modular to play with all kinds of other things, commercial level, line level, professional line level, and headphone. It only takes up six HP. It sounds great. It was built by the creator of WMD. What else do you need to say? It's the pro output.